Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a declutter of my lip products. I tried to break this down into three sections. So I've got like lip liners and other odd bits that don't really fit into a category. I've got lipsticks, like your traditional in a bullet lipstick. And then I've got like liquid lipsticks, lip crayons and chubby sticks and things like that into another category. So I am going to probably, depends how long each section takes, but I might break this down into two or three videos. So I'm just going to be starting with the liquid lipsticks, chubby sticks and lip, like the pencils that are not lip liners and stuff like that. That sort of, that's what I'm going to start with to begin with and boy have I got a lot. So if I want to keep the product, I'm going to be putting it up here and if I want to get rid of it, then I'm going to be putting it on the windowsill in front of me. So I'm not going to go in any particular colour order, I'm just going to pull them out as we go. So the first one I've got is this Maybelline Colour Drama in Berry Much. Um, I like the colour of this, I think it's great, but um, these are very slidey on my lips and they tend to go in the cracks in my lines and things and for that reason I'm going to be getting rid of this. Um, another Maybelline colour drama in Red Essential. So that's that one looks like. Um, that can go for the same reason as the first one and keep it classy. Also they're just, the formula of them are a bit too slidey for me, so they can all go all three of them. So I've got uh, one of these NYX liquid suedes. Um, it's kind of like a liquid lipstick idea, so it's got like a sponge applicator. And they do stain your lips and they do stay on, but they do dry out to be quite chalky. And um, they don't necessarily stay on as well as like a liquid lipstick and then when you go to reapply you just can't put a reapplication on because it goes all bitty bits of your lips start peeling off that's what it looks like anyway so and apparently you can only keep these open for six months and I'm not sure why that would be but that one can go and I've also got another one in um, a, a grey colour which is called Stone Fox, which I, I love the idea of having a grey, but it is a very dark grey and um, this bleeds even more into the cracks in my lips as well. So that can go also because they're both over six months old. So I've got um, this NYX, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is 18 months. So um, compared to these which can only stay open for six months these can stay open for 18 which I just don't understand at all and it's the same brand so the soft matte lip creams are absolutely my all-time favorite product from um, the NYX range they go on really softly onto the lips they're very comfortable they dry down to a matte over a period of time so after about 10 minutes it's not like an instant thing um, and they're very very comfortable once it's dried down you can't feel like you've got anything on your lips at all you always have to like sort of check to see if you have put something on there so that's this color and I've had so many compliments for wearing it and this is the shade London so I'm going to be keeping that because that's one of my favorites and then I've also got um, another one in the shade Transylvania and I only bought this back in June so I'm going to keep it but it's like this purple color so this one for colour purposes is a bit more patchy, you have to put, you know, you can see I need to put like another layer on once it's dry and with these you can put another layer on so I'm going to be keeping that because once you've got it to look the way it looks it does look really good. So these Bourgeois Rouge Edition Velvets, so they're like a liquid lipstick also and they're quite soft like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams that I just showed you. And they do dry down quite matte like I showed you. Um, that's just like a nice pinky colour. These say that they're only supposed to be open for 12 months. Um, I think these have been opened for a bit longer than that. But I think I'm going to keep this one because I do like the colour. And then I've also got this one in the shade 
Ole Flamingo, which is more of like a hot pink, and um, that one just looks like that. I'm going to be keeping this one as well because I do like these. But I've got this one, which is kind of in the same sort of packaging, but it's called the Rouge Edition Aqualac. So it gives more of like a lip glossy type of finish. It doesn't dry down matte. It's far more slippery in texture. And um, it's a very similar color to Ole Flamingo anyway. It's a bit more ready toned, um, but it's very slidey. So this one can go. I've got four Ted Baker sort of crayon chubby stick types of things. I have only, I've used them all, but they're very of a slidey formula. And um, it's a shame because they were a Christmas present from my friend. Um, and I don't like throwing stuff out that my friends have given to me because obviously they've spent a lot of money. But like, um, they're probably, uh, th as a general rule of thumb, things have about a 12 month rule on them anyway. Um, I like to listen to that as and when it pleases me. It's not something that I religiously follow, but because the formula is quite slidey on these, I am going to be passing these on to someone else that does appreciate them because there's a lot of life left in these. Just seen that I've got another Maybelline color drama here. This is one of the less slidey ones, but um, it still is very slidey on the lips. So this is in Future Desire. So this one can go along with its brothers and sisters, sorry. So then I've got the Revlon Color Bursts. And I think this is a Revlon Color Burst, but all the writing's rubbed off. So I've got this one, which is sort of like a purpley, glittery shade. Um, and it's called Whimsical Fantasy. Um, it's quite a sheer colour. It's quite balmy and lip glossy once you've got it on the lip. And it's not really my thing at all. And I have to force myself to wear it. So that one can go. Got this one in the shade Love Sick. And again, it's very balmy and sheer, almost like a tinted lip balm. So not really my thing at all. I like colour intensity, so that one can go as well. And then this one is an orangey shade in the shade Unapologetic. So this one has more colour intensity, but it's, um, it is kind of like a tinted lip balm again sort of thing, but just with more pigmentation in it. And it's quite minty on the lips as well. I do quite like this one. So I'm going to give this another lease of life. Unless I find a colour dupe in my collection for that colour. So then I've got these two collection. No, nope. I've got another Revlon colour burst here in the shade Sultry. And this is a good colour and it is, it feels balmy but it dries matte and I really like wearing this one to work. So I'm going to be keeping this one also. Then there's this um, collection matte lip butter in the shade Marshmallow Pink. So that is instantly matte. It's less balmy than the Revlon colour bursts. Um, I really like this. So that can stay also. Got this Clinique Chubby Stick Intense Moisturising Lip Colour Balm. Um, it instantly says it is, it's balmy. It is very pigmented, but it's like quite slippery and it doesn't look that intense on the lips. So that one can go. And then this Clinique Chug Chubby Stick Moisturising lip balm as well in the shade Super Strawberry is super sheer so that's not really my thing either so that can go. This number seven high shine lip crayon um, I only just got this Christmas. It's very sheer and very balmy but because I did get it for Christmas. I'm going to keep it 
for a year and if I haven't used it a lot within the year, you can see how new it is, then I'm sure it will be discarded at a later date. So I've got two of the um, Maybelline Superstay 24 hour color lip thingies. So these are awesome. They really do stay on all day. So it's like a two. It's like a two product product. So you pop it on. So and then that's quite tacky. You've got to wait for it to dry down a little bit. It doesn't dry completely. And then once that has dried down, then over the top with a balm. You can see how much I've used this one. Um, this is in the shade Raspberry. It's bloody lovely. Um, the colour really, really does stay all day. It barely rubs off and if it does, you can barely tell. It's just amazing and for that reason, I'm going to be keeping this. And I've also got another shade in Rose Dust, which is just more of a soft, uh, well more of a dirtier dusty pink like it says that one there and um, I shall be keeping this also the soap and glory sexy mother pucker gloss crayon um, it looks amazing color there what shade is this fuchsia rustic it's very sheer, I mean, it is it is like a tinted lip balm. So that can go, I haven't worn it since I've had it. This Lacquer and Co Cheeky Lip, it was just sort of like a sample from a birch box. There's really hardly any product left at all. There wasn't a lot to begin with. Um, that, I'm not even gonna swatch it for you because I know that I'm getting rid of that. This Pucker Up Lip Crayon by Lumiere. I'm not sure where the Lumiere brand comes from. I haven't even swatched this yet. Um, I had this for Christmas from my friend Corinne. So oh, it is very sheer. You have to put a lot of that on. It's very pretty though. That is very pretty. I'm going to keep that purely because I got it for Christmas this year and I want to give it a go to see how I can use it. So I've got this Max Factor. I don't know what the actual thing is called. Um, in fact, I can't even tell you the shade of it because there's no shade on here at all. So I've just noticed that this can be opened for up to 36 months, which is a very long time. So it kind of works like the Maybelline Colour Stay. You put the colour on to the lips. It's very dark and intense there. Um, you let that dry down for a little bit and then you pop over a lip balm to make it more comfortable on the lip to be able to wear. I love this, I love the colour of it, so they're staying in my collection. This MUA Lux London in Atomic, it's like a liquid lipstick but it's super chalky and I really, really love the colour, but I really, really hate the product, so that can just go because it's awful. Um, this liquid lipstick by LA Splash, it's one of the Lip Couture waterproof liquid lipsticks made in America and it's in the shade Ghoulish and this has got to be one of, well, probably my, I would, mm, mm, yeah, I would, I'd say as far as being my favourite liquid lipstick of all time, I love the formula of it, it dries down to this beautiful matte some days are uh, better than others. I think it depends on what state my lips are in. Some days it feels quite tight, but I don't mind that because if I know that it feels tight on my lips, then it's gonna look a, like a banging matte. Um, 
So it's just that one there. It's kind of like a grurple, like a grey with hints of purple in it. I love, I just love this. This is amazing. I'm so happy that I bought this. This was £10, which is expensive. But for the amount of usage that I've got out of it, I mean, it's amazing. So I've got this um, Sephora liquid lipstick. It's, it's called a cream lip stain, but it, um, it's like the NYX soft mattes. Um, it goes on, it's almost like a moussey type of texture, I suppose. And um, it's this red one. And I wore this a hell of a lot in the month of December just gone and it dries down beautifully matte it stays all day it's one of the best red liquid lipsticks that i've ever used so that can stay in my collection and then to end this category i got this essence xxxl long lasting lip gloss matte effect so i had this for christmas off my friend carrie and i was like oh I don't like lip glosses I know I don't like lip glosses I just can't get along with them and then I pulled it out and I was like hang on a minute and then I did a little swatch and I was like well bugger me that swatch is like a NYX soft matte lip cream which I love and adore and um I was like it smells like a NYX soft matte lip cream and it is basically a NYX soft matte lip cream, but in a different tube, in a bigger tube. And that's just the colour of it there, a very soft baby pink. And it's um, in the shade Velvet Rose. So I absolutely adore this. I haven't used it yet because I haven't really started wearing pinks in my collection um, just because of the time of year it is but I'm really looking forward to wearing this in the spring because I just think it's great. So that's that for this section, guys. I am getting rid of 18 lip products from this category. So lip crayons, liquid lipsticks and lip pencils and chubby sticks and things like that. So 18 products I think is really, really good to get rid of. And I'm only keeping 15, so I'm getting rid of more than I am keeping. So in my eyes that that's a successful lip declutter. See you all in the next video guys. Bye.